Hey guys, Stephanie here from Be Yoga and Fitness with another Vinyasa flow class for you. Today we're going to use a block. So go ahead and just reach for one of your props and we're just going to go ahead and be lying flat on our backs. So as we come down onto the floor, go ahead and bend up your knees. We're going to start to just slowly lower down here, bringing your knees into your chest. Go ahead and just give yourself a moment to just adjust the spine, just slowly rocking the weight from right to left. Feel a little gentle massage here into the lower back, into the glutes. And we're going to begin by placing our feet firmly down. Taking our block, we're going to place the block so that the wide side is facing the floor. And let's go ahead and just elevate the hips. So as we just press into the heels, let's lift the hips from the floor, resting the hips back down onto the block. Let's start to just lengthen through the spine. Start to press gently into the elbows as we inch the shoulders towards the back of the mat. And then just adjust the head and neck by lifting the head from the floor, tucking the chin down. And just Feeling that elongation to the spine. So you want to feel that lower belly start to draw in. Notice a little bit of an anterior tilt to the pelvis, the tailbone lifting tall. And as we join with our left hand over our heart, our right hand over our navel, go ahead and just keep those knees bent. You can separate the feet nice and wide. Feel those knees just stack over those ankles. If you'd like, you can go ahead and bring them slightly closer together and take the knees in towards the center, maybe opening up through the lower back. Or if it feels good, you can keep those feet joining and letting those knees part. Go ahead and let all the tension just simply leave the body. We're going to begin just to initiate our Ujjayi breath. Slowly inhaling, let's take the air in through the nose. Slowly exhale, let's press all the air out through the nose. Just feel everything soften, feel everything relax. Let the hips just open. Just allow the breath to become slow and steady. Sometimes it helps if you want to count the length of the breath. Inhale and silently count. One, two, Three. When we exhale, match that number. One, two, three. Inhale to the number four. Exhale into that same number four. permission to be fully here, present, present on the mat, present with your breath, present with your mind, with your body. And just simply allow everything else just to fade away. When your attention begins to wander, I want you to direct it back to listening to the sounds of the inhales and simply noticing the sounds of the exhale. We want to allow the breath to calm us. Allow the breath to ground you. Allow your breath to draw you into the present moment. Focusing on ourselves, focusing on our practice, focusing on our breath. Drop the chin from right to left. Just simply gazing over each shoulder. Just a loosen the cervical spine. Just begin to warm the neck. And as we lift our gaze up towards the ceiling, let's begin to stack the knees over the hips. Slowly drawing those knees in. Place the feet below the knees. We're going to begin just to release the arms and as we tuck one knee to the chest and the other. Let's feel that stretch into that lower back. Go ahead and wrap the arms around the shins. 
Let's feel the shoulders roll down and just feel the length we're creating within the spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice on exhale. Just begin to lengthen the legs up. Let's join legs up the wall. We're starting to elevate our energy. Just stacking the ankles over the hips. Let's start to rotate those feet in one direction. And then in the other. With our chin tucked down, let's rest here for a couple breaths. Notice the length that we're creating into that lower back. So we're going to come into a little bit of manual traction here, just creating some space between the vertebrae. Very healing for the spine. Very healing for the discs. We're going to begin to awaken the body with those ankles stacked over those hips. Just allowing the blood to pump up the leg while continuing with that ujjayi breath. As we soften our knees, begin to place the feet below the knees, hugging the heels close to the body, firming through the heels, bringing the arms to the side. Let's join here for bridge pose, engaging those inner thighs, drift the knees towards one another, elevating the pelvic floor. Let's shift the weight to the heels and begin to elevate the hips. As we slide that block off to the side, Let's begin to lift through the heart, lift through the chest. Maybe start to roll the shoulders towards one another. As we press firmly down into the heel, begin to just create length down the front of the spine. Let's take a deep breath here, noticing those ribs as they expand the heart as it lifts. And as we exhale, press the heels firmly down. Inhale, let's slowly lower the hips back to the floor. Coming down one vertebrae at a time, we're going to return the knees back to the chest. This time, let's add a little gentle rock from right to left, massaging the lower back, the hips, the glutes. Let's go ahead and join in the middle of the mat. Taking the knees, let's draw them in, pressing them forward. Let's bring the arms to goal pose, lower back to the floor, take a deep breath in. Exhaling, let's float the legs to the left side of the mat. If you'd like, you can rest the knees to a block. Just filling in gaps, just filling in space, just giving the body some support. Or maybe let them rest all the way down. As we take our eyes towards that right elbow, feel the crease of the right hip joints just start to drift forward. So we want to just go ahead and elongate the spine here. Let's take some deep breaths in. With each inhale, notice the chest as it rises towards the ceiling. And with each exhale, just feel your body sink heavy towards the floor. As we inhale, let's begin to turn our gaze towards the ceiling. Bringing the arms back to goal pose, pulling the navel in, and squeeze the knees together and draw those knees to stack over the hips, returning onto the spine. And as we exhale, flip the knees to the right side of the room. Resting those legs heavy against the floor. Feel those little crease of the left hip drift forward. If you take the eyes towards that left shoulder, hold for three slow, deep breaths. Turning the knees back over the hips. Let's go ahead and come back onto the spine. Drawing the right knee towards that right shoulder. Let's extend the left foot forward. Pressing the calf down, tucking through the chin. Let's relax the shoulders towards the floor. And let's ground through the left side of the body as we feel that right knee shifting towards that right shoulder. Take a deep breath in, filling your lungs. And as we exhale, hop that knee a little bit. As we inhale, we're going to extend the leg forward, reach the arms over the head, find that long body stretch, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's draw the left knee towards that left shoulder, flexing the right foot, grounding through the right side of the body. Let's feel the left knee drift outside of the ribs towards the shoulder. With our chin tucked down and lengthen behind the neck, take a deep breath here, inhaling in. Exhale, just sink the knee a little bit closer. Inhale, we slowly extend the left leg forward, reach the arms over the head, let's flex our feet, lengthen through the fingertips, take 
take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna reach up, sit up, and forward fold. As we hang to the hips, sink the belly towards the upper thighs. Just place the hands to wherever you're comfortable and maybe give yourself a little gentle sway from left to right. We wanna go ahead and find the middle of the mat. And as we press our heart forward towards the toes, think of lifting the ribs from the hips. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale as release over the legs and fold. Tucking the chin, let that forehead sink towards the shins. Slow deep breaths here. With each inhale, I want you to feel that expansion in that upper back. So notice those ribs as they glide out towards the sides of the room. And when you exhale, think of eliminating the space between the upper and lower body. So as the body sinks heavy towards those legs, let's try to draw the forehead towards the shins. Same breath. We inhale as we get to slowly roll up, bringing the shoulders over the hips. We're going to bend that right knee out, placing that right foot to that left upper inner thigh. Let's go ahead and point that left toe. Right hand comes outside of the hip, fingertips face the back of the room. And as we rise onto the right knee, let's sweep the left arm, lifting through the hips, arching the spine, raising to the fingers. Let's open up the left side of the body, taking a nice deep breath in, reaching tall. And as we exhale, let's go ahead and have a seat. Sinking those hips down, we're going to plant that left palm outside of that left hip, right on sore side, take a deep breath in as we exhale, fold over that left leg. So as we start to just level the shoulders here, we want to bring the right shoulder down and right the left. Wherever the hand rests, let's press the heart forward towards the toes. So as we lift the ribs from the hips, take a deep breath in here. Exhale, let's go ahead and fold over the leg. Tucking the chin, let's try to gaze under that left elbow. Feel the right side of your face start to shift down towards that left leg. And let's breathe here, deep breaths. Notice the strength from that right pinky finger running all the way down into the lower back. Exhale, let's sink down deeper. Inhale, let's slowly float the right arm up, take a nice deep breath in, and as we exhale, just gonna release the shoulder and float the arm by the side. Bending both knees, let's go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together. As we lengthen up through the spine, let's go ahead and just allow those knees to sink apart, placing the palms to wherever we're comfortable. We're going to press the heart forward towards the top of the room. So as we inhale, let's lift the heart, lift the chest, fill your lungs. Exhale, let's hinge at the hips, elbows past the waist. Just feel the heart stretch forward, feel the knees sink towards the floor. Just move to wherever you're comfortable. Let's breathe. Slowly rise up. Let's inhale, peel the shoulders back over the hips. Let's extend that right leg forward. Bend that left leg up, placing that left foot to that upper inner thigh. Pointing that right toe, let's place that left hand behind the hip, fingertips face the back wall. As we rise onto the left knee, begin to arch the spine. Open up here, gaze to the fingertips, hug the arm to the temple. Take a nice deep breath in. As we exhale, let's go ahead and have a seat. Placing that right hand outside of the hip, left arm short side, take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, go ahead and fold over that right leg. Once we're placing the hand to wherever it's comfortable, we're going to think of length, leveling the shoulders here so that left shoulder drops in line with the right. And as we inhale, lift the heart towards the toes to deepen the stretch. Exhale, go ahead and tuck the chin, maybe gaze under that right elbow. Just sinking that ear temple. Side of the left face down towards that right leg. Let's breathe here. As we inhale, let's slowly start to rise up. Sweeping that left arm high, just simply releasing the shoulder. Let's float the hand down behind the back. And we're going to just join, crossing those legs in front, shifting onto all fours. Let's meet in the middle of the mat, palms below the shoulders, knees below the hips. We're going to gaze to the thumbs. So as we pull that lower belly in, let's stack the joints. Pressing the floor away, let's grip the fingertips. Roll the shoulders to the hips. Take a deep breath here. As we exhale, warm the spine, cat and cow. Tucking the chin, gazing to the navel. Inhale, lower the belly, arch the spine. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, once more, rounding through. Inhaling, creating lift. 
Returning to a neutral spine, just grip the fingers, curl the toes, lift the hips. Let's find that downward facing dog. Just relaxing through the head and neck. Let's pull that lower belly in and just start to loosen up here, bending one knee and then the other, shifting the weight from right to left. Just do what feels good. Maybe add a little gentle twist here, lengthening down the side body into the lower back and then the other. You're ready, let's begin to fill the pose, planting the feet hip distance apart. Knees are soft, spine is locked, grip the fingers. Feel the shoulders retract from those ears, and let's pull the lower belly in as we allow the head back to hang. Let's breathe here. Deep breaths. So you elevate the heels. Let's bend the knees, take the eyes to the thumbs. We're going to go ahead and tiptoe the feet to meet the hands. Coming to the top of the mat, place your palms to your shins and shine the heart forward. Finding that long spine, shoulders towards the hips, knees are soft. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, let's find and release over and fold. Bending the knees, resting the belly to the thighs, and suck the chin to the chest, wrap the arms here. We can go ahead and take the fingertips to the back of the calves, maybe wrap the hands to the front of the shin. And as we eliminate as much space as we can between the upper body and the legs, begin to start to draw the chin to the chest. Feel that forehead come towards those shins. Feel the heels press down as the tail roll lifts. Take some slow deep breaths here. Just making sure you're still on. As we inhale, let's release the legs. We're going to go ahead and tuck the tailbone under. Let's slowly start to roll open one vertebrae at a time. Peeling our chin from our chest. Let's roll the shoulders back. Take the shoulders, let's roll them forward. Grabbing down for all four corners of our feet. Let's turn the palms to face forward towards that mirror. We're going to go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Circle sweeping the arms up. Lift through the heart. Lift through the chest. Let the palms touch. Let's arch the spine. Cross the thumbs. Reach tall, big weapon. Exhale. Let's swan dive down. Top knees. Black back and fold. Inhale. Let's place the palms to the chin. Stretch the heart forward. Big breath. Exhale. Let's release over and fold. Stepping down to all fours. Right knee to the left, let's stack the joints. We're going to go ahead and just shift the weight forward, finding that kneeling plank, and as we exhale, elbows past the ribs, chin and chest sink down. Inhale, let's begin to lower the hips, lifting just the heart, roll the shoulders back, find a full breath. Exhale, let's fully release. Pressing up onto all fours, hips to heels, child. Take a breath here, fill your lungs. Nice on our exam. Rising up. Let's join on all fours, gripping the fingers, curling the toes, lifting the hips. Let's come back to our downward facing dog. Beginning to open the hips. Let's shift the weight to the left leg. Right leg, sweep time. Flex the foot, bend the knee. Relax the leg over the body. Keep those shoulders level. Press into the palms. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice on our exam. As we inhale, straighten the leg, close the hip, reaching through the toes, right foot spirals through. Let's find a nice low lunge here, left palm down, let's twist to the right leg. Open up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and frame the foot. Rising up here, let's go ahead and find half moon, pressing onto that right leg, right thumb in line with the pinky toe. Sweep that left arm high. Flexing the foot, let's reach through the fingers, stacking the joints, fix the gaze and breathe. Right knee off his left foot floats backwards. Come right through center, lifting through the heart, lifting through the chest, hug the arms to the temple. Take a deep breath in as we reach through the hands. And as we exhale, let's rise on up, side angle of choice. If you'd like, place that forearm resting to the knee. Or maybe stay fully extended, sweeping the left arm to face the right, palms coming in. 
Lifting the left shoulder, dropping it back, let's lift the gaze. Let's breathe. As we inhale, let's rise up, warrior two. Shoulders over head, pull the lower belly and reach through the fingers, take a deep breath in. Nice long exhale. Left palm drops, let's spin forward, coming up into our high lunge. Take a nice deep breath in, palms over head to touch. As we exhale, let's rotate and twist. Placing that left tricep to that right knee, let's gaze over the shoulder. Create pressure here into the palms. Feel that right hand press firmly into the left. If you'd like, you can rest that left knee to the floor. Kneeling lunge, or maybe stay fully extended. Taking that deep breath and counting in. Nice on exhale. Building that heat. Let's go ahead and return to high lunge, pressing into the heels, shoulders over hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and frame the foot. Right foot steps back to meet the left plank or one-legged plank. Option drop the knees, kneeling plank. Exhale, shift forward. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lower the feet, lift the heart. Upward facing dog. Exhale, curl through the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. One more big breath in. As we exhale, let's walk the hands to meet the feet back of the mat, palms to shins. Let's look and length and take a deep breath. Exhale, release over and fold. Bend those knees, reverse one up. Big breath in. Exhale, chest expansion, put the hands behind the back. And release the fingers. Let's elongate the arms. Lift through the heart, lift through the chest, squeeze the shoulders back. Open up, think of growing tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's go ahead and hinge forward, soft knees, flat back. Chest expansion, let's fold. Big breaths here, inhaling in. Nice long exhale. As we release, place the palms to the shins and stretch the heart forward. Finding that long spine, take a nice deep breath. Exhale, let's release over and fold. Walking it out with joint and plank. We're going to shift forward to chaturanga option. Rest the knees. Elbows come in, pressing right up to side plank. Let's lower the heels to the left. Right arm lifts. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and frame the shoulders. Shift onto the toes. Lower chaturanga. Let's open up here, pressing outside plank. Heels to the right. Left arm lifts. Deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga once more, two upward facing dogs. So as we shift forward, exhale, elbows squeeze in, pointing the toes. Fill your lungs. Exhale, curl through the toes, let's lift the hips. Down your dog. Take a breath, fill your lungs. Exhale, lengthen the spine. As we inhale, weight to the right leg. Left leg lifts, let's open up the hip, flex the foot, bend the knee, relax the leg over. Let that foot be heavy, shoulders nice and level, tuck the chin, take a deep breath in. Nice on exhale. As we straighten the leg, let's close the hip, reach through the toes, squeeze with the inner thigh. Feel that left heel soar high. And as we exhale, left foot spirals through. Sinking low into the hips, right palm below the shoulder, inhale, and let's rotate open. Fill your lungs, stack the joints, reach the hand high. As we exhale, frame the shoulders. Shifting onto that left foot, let's rise up here, half moon, stacking the head, stacking the shoulders, reaching through the hand. Pull the belly in, lengthen. Deep breaths. As we inhale, we're going to soften the left knee, float that right foot back. Let's go ahead and move right into reverse warrior. Coming right through center, lift through the heart, lift through the chest. Hug the arm close, take a deep breath in. Exhale, side angle of choice. So you can rest that left forearm to that left knee, maybe fully extend. Feeling that right shoulder lifting and lowering towards the side of your mouth. Let's lift the gaze, sink into the hips, lengthen the arm, hold that lower belly in. Let's breathe. Again, 
you have warrior two. Shoulders over, hips have stayed low into the legs, reach through the fingers, fix the gaze, take a deep breath. Nice long exhale. As the right arm floats down, let's slowly rotate open, find high lunge here, shoulders over the hips, palms touch. Let's exhale, rotate and twist to that left leg. Making sure that left knee is over the ankle. Let's press the left palm into the right. Find that deep rotation. Option here, you can go ahead and rest the knee to the floor if you choose. Or stay fully extended. Feel as if we're pressing that right heel towards the back of the room as we shift that left knee forward. Squeeze with the inner thighs, elevate the pelvic floor. Let's take one more breath here. Building that strength, creating that heat. Let's challenge ourselves, rising back up. High lunge, shoulders over, hips, deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and frame that foot. Plank or one-legged plank. Option, rest the knees, kneeling plank. Let's shift the weight forward. Exhale, slowly lower Charanga. Lowering the feet, lifting the heart. Upward facing dog. Exhale, curl through the toes, lift through the hips. Downward facing dog. Let's take a breath, inhale in. Shifting forward here, find that flip, taking that deep breath in, exhale, elbows past the ribs, chaturanga, let's press back up, lower the heels to the right this time, try to play and pull, deep breath in, exhale, let's look that left palm down, shifting forward, chaturanga once more, pressing up side plank, heels to the left, right arm, let's deep breath in. Exhale, let's place the palm down, let's shift forward, chaturanga to up dog. Pointing the toes, lifting the heart. Exhale, curl through the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Breathe. As we inhale, we're going to go ahead and walk the hands to meet the feet back of the mat. Palms to shin. Look at length and take a deep breath in. Exhale, release over and hold. Reverse one, now bend the knees, leave with the heart, take a deep breath in. Palms over, head to touch. Exhale, let's join. Hands to heart center. Inhale, you start to sweep your arms up. Fill your left palms, touch, and as we exhale, swan that down, hinge at the hips, flat back and hold. Palms to shins, looking length and stretch the heart forward, long back. Exhale, release and fold. Walking hands out. Let's join here, finding plank. Shifting forward. Chaturanga. Upward dog, you have him. Down the dog, exhaling. We're going to join taking the weight to the left leg. Sweeping that right leg high, let's open up the hip. Flex the foot, bend the knee. If you'd like, stay right here or maybe go farther. Wild thing, flip the dog, taking the toes over the body, lifting through the heart, gazing to the hands. Take a deep breath. As we start to slowly return back to our down dog split, push into the palm, blend through the lid, lift the heel, deep breath in, and as we exhale, pigeon pose. Let's take that right knee to that right wrist. Sinking down into the hips, let's go ahead and Pull the lower belly in. You want to be on top of that left leg, knee and toes facing the floor. And as we begin just to open up, just begin to create some lines. We don't want to force anything. We just want to feel the heart starting to lift tall. So just beginning to arch the spine. Just open up a few areas that may feel a little tight. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and pull. Extending the arms forward. Let's go ahead and let the heart sink. The forehead rise. If you'd like, you can stay here. This is a great opportunity to prop yourself up. So maybe if you want to place your elbows down, you can support yourself. Stack those hands, maybe create fists, rest the forehead. Great opportunity to use the block, maybe place the block below your forehead. Maybe if you want to add a twist here, you can go a little bit deeper. Placing that right palm down, left arm threads the needle, ear temple shoulder sink down. 
and then we simply just wrap the arm, maybe resting it to the lower back, or maybe binding for that big toe using those peace fingers. Just open up here and breathe. So some of us like to stay in this pose for a couple minutes. Feel free to pause the video here, time yourself, rest for another minute or two. So as we reach the right arm high, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, go ahead and just bring the shoulders. So we all just want to meet, hand shoulder distance apart, arms long, curling the toes with the left foot under. We're going to go ahead and just start to just shift the weight to that right foot, that right hip, and just sweep that left leg forward. Coming here into a twist, let's place that left leg over the right, left palm down, right arm lifts. We're going to take a deep breath in. As we exhale, let's go hit the elbow, let's open up here and twist to that left side. Gazing over the shoulder, take a deep breath. As we begin to unwind, we're going to slowly start to just turn towards the right side of the mat, planting that left foot down, sweep that right leg out, and let's join in a straddle fold, pigeon toeing the feet, toes closer than the heels, palms below the shoulders, heart to the thumb, deep breath in. Exhale, release over and fold, just walking the hands between the thighs. Let's get nice and deep here. Slowly breathing. Placing the palms down below the shoulders. Let's elongate the arms, press the heart towards the thumbs. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. Toes of the right foot are going to turn to the back corner of the room. As we bend into the right knee, let's sink into the hips. Pull that lower belly in. And as we draw the crease of the left hip towards the floor, let's just meet with our hands resting at heart center. For those of you who may want a little bit more, maybe you could add a bind here, wrapping the arms, reaching for the fingertips, or maybe deepen the stretch here into the hips and inner thighs by simply adding a full fold, tucking the chin to the chest, lengthening the fingertips away. Just breathing here into your side body. Walking the hands in. Let's start to press into that right heel. We're going to bend that left knee, crawling forward, framing the foot. Let's join your plank, one legged plank, or maybe kneeling plank. And let's go ahead and shift forward. Try to with the knots in the lower half way down. And now point the toes, lift the heart up dog. Exhale, let's curl through the toes, lift through the hips, down dog. Take a deep breath, lay your lungs here. Nice long exhale. Weight to the right leg, sweep that left leg high. Let's open up the hip, flex the foot, bend the knee. Relax the leg over the body, shoulders stay level. If you'd like, you can stay right here or maybe go for a wild thing. Flip the dog, seat the toes over the body. Arch in the spine, lifting through the hips. Let's gaze to the hands. Down dog split, reaching through the toes, push into the palm, deep breath in, exhale, pigeon pose, let the left wrist. And as we sink down here, let's begin to just pull that lower belly in. We're going to just start to walk the fingertips in, lifting through the heart, lifting through the chest, arching the spine. Let's go ahead and just open up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, go ahead and release and fold. So again, you can just support yourself with your elbows. Maybe start to fully extend. Again, you can stack those fists. Just find the most comfortable version of the pose. A great opportunity to place a block here underneath that hip, just supporting, filling those gaps, filling those spaces. If you'd like, you can go ahead and add that bind also. Taking that left palm down, threading the needle, right arm right underneath, ear simple shoulder sink. And then simply wrap the left arm around. If you'd like, you can rest the hand to the lower back, or maybe add those peace fingers, wrapping for that big toe.
Just simply walking the hands in. Just curling the toes under to lift the knee, and we're gonna just sink the hips to that left side. As we sweep that right leg around, let's go ahead and cross the right leg in front and just simply stack the legs. Grounding through the hips, right palm down, we're gonna to twist to the right side. So the left arm's going to lift, take a deep breath in as we grow tall. And as we exhale, just float the arm past the leg. We're just gonna lengthen through the crown of the head, and as we exhale, gaze over the shoulder. Flexing the feet, sweeping through the arms, taking a deep breath in, let's counter stretch, exhale, 
and fold. Breathing in. Slowly starting to release. Let's release the grip. Flex the feet. Slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. All the way to the floor. Long body stretch, point through the toes, reach through the fingers, deep breath in. Exhale, knees to the chest, hug the legs close. Go ahead and part the knees at a gentle sway. Let's find figure four. Meeting here in the middle of the mat, let's place the left foot down and sweep the right leg high, flexing the foot, bending the knee. Cross the right leg over the left and just feel that right knee just drift forward. Reaching between the thighs, let's interlace the fingers. Tucking the chin, relaxing through the shoulders. You can reach underneath the calf or maybe in front. Just make sure you have no pressure here on the knee, everything feels right. Taking a deep breath in as we elongate the spine and when we exhale, Shift the weight slightly to the left. Just feel that right foot shift, maybe one inch to the left side, and then sink the knees down towards the chest. Take a deep breath, inhaling in. Exhale out. As we release the leg, let's go ahead and stretch both feet up. We're going to find dead bug here, flexing the feet, parting the knees wide, reaching up to the arches of the feet. Let's draw the knees outside of the head. Press the tailbone down, tuck the chin, relax through the shoulders, and let's take a breath. If you like that, a gentle rock from this left. Bend figure four to the other side, let's move on the spine, let's release the leg, bending that right knee, stretching that left foot up. Let's flex the foot, let's bend the leg, let's cross the leg over. Feel the left knee just start to float away, keeping that foot flexed, let's reach between the thighs. And release those fingers, tuck the chin, elongate the spine. Simply sink the knees towards the chest. Head breaths. If it feels good, add that little gentle shifting of the weight. Feel that left heel just shift to the right side. Maybe just about an inch. Gonna lengthen out the IT band, open up that outer thigh. Those are the abductors. We're gonna lengthen out the glutes here. Nice deep opening into the hips. And as we begin to release, let's go ahead and just float that left foot back down to meet the right. We're going to join with both knees drawing back to the chest. Legs coming up and we're going to find a supine straddle. So as we take those heels, go ahead and part those heels wide. Just let those feet float apart, reaching through the toes, roll the shoulders down. Once here, maybe add a gentle sway, simply just rock from right to left. Just feel those hips release. Maybe hold that center, pressing the tailbone firmly towards the floor. Take some deep breaths here. And how those slowly meet. Lifting those heels high, bending those knees, arms to bowl pose. Let's drop the knee to the left side of the mat. Find that twist. This is our first twist from class. Feel that right hip drift forward. Notice the gaze turn over that elbow. Let's take a breath. Lifting the knees over the hips, let's return onto the spine. Deep breath in, and as we exhale, float the knees to the right side of the room. Let the legs be heavy. Feel the left hip drift forward. Turn the gaze. Take another breath.
We want to engage the pelvic floor, so elevate your lower body. We want to pull that navel in, Uddiyana Bandha. With our chin tucked down, press into the pumps, take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly start to just peel the spine one vertebrae at a time and send the toes over the head. Exhaling. If you'd like, you can bend at the elbows. Support the lower back here, maybe walk those elbows in towards one another. Or keep the arms fully extended, maybe add a chest expansion here. If you'd like, you can stay. For those of you who may want to come into shoulders here, supporting the lower back and then floating those toes to stack over the hips, over the shoulders. Breathing. Feel free to add a child here if you'd like. Feel free to bite the call. Maybe you just want to hold nice and still. Maybe you want to return to flat. that left palm down. Slowly guiding yourselves up to a seated position. Crossing the legs in front and sit up tall. Let's meet once more with our hands joined at heart center, our chin tucked towards our chest to seal our practice and let's close our eyes. One final breath here as a group. Let's inhale. Draw the breath in through the nose, fill the body with love, with light, with joy, with peace. When we exhale, fill the world with kindness. Thank you so much for joining me this today. I hope you guys enjoyed your practice. Namaste. See you guys on the next one.